Hi, this is Quotidian Light, aka Maya Good, and I'm currently in a little RV camper. Um, this is what is serving as a dormitory for the monastery where I'm staying at. I've got it to myself because it's a really tiny monastery, and it looks like there's only going to be one other person here for Sashin next week. I've been here for two days. Um, this video is going to just show you the clothes that I currently have. I had to do another decluttering in the Greyhound bus depot in order to reduce my bags and reduce luggage fees and I wanted to show you guys what I'm rolling with and talk to you a little bit about how I've been choosing my clothes. The majority of my clothes are used and uh, very few items are synthetic. I do have a few, very few, um, and I just want to talk to you a little bit about how I chose them, how I get my clothes when I'm on the road, how I turn them over, things like that. Um, for more information about my experience at the monastery, please check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash mayagood. I will be putting up um, blog posts and eventual, probably some audio of my experience here uh, once I get out. So let me just show you guys what I've got. First, um, what I'm wearing. Okay, so what I'm wearing are a pair of socks that I made last year and they are dying. They're on their last leg. So I am frantically knitting another pair so I can get rid of these ones. They've got holes all in the bottom, but I like them because they have a split for the toe so that I can wear them with my with my uh, sandals. I wear unshoes sandals um, and then I have a pair of tennis shoes. Let me just show you my shoes. So I have those. Those are from Unshoes. I wear those most of the time. I got this pair of slippers specifically for the monastery because he said it would be cold here frequently and to bring slippers and I found them at a thrift store and they were brand new. Um, I, I have no problem buying uh, animal products used because I'm not contributing. So these are beautiful um, sheepskin and suede. And then my other shoes, where are they? Where are they? These are my other pair of shoes. Um, I originally got these for the gym so I could have an excuse to use the showers. But as you can see, I folded down the bottom so I can slip in and out of them in the monastery. It just makes it easier. And if my son watches this video, feel free to laugh. Because he spent his whole lifetime hearing me say, stop turning down the backs of your shoes. It ruins them. So, on to the clothes. I have a hat that I made last year. This is my winter hat. I have a second baseball cap, and I think I left it in the Zendo, uh, outside the Zendo, so you won't see that. But I've got this hat. This is synthetic. It's an L.L. Bean uh, vest that I picked up at a thrift store. Now, one of the things I look for when I go thrift store shopping, specifically, is I don't go unless I have a list. That's That helps me maintain my minimalism. I go for a purpose. And I only buy for that purpose. So in this case, I went in looking for clothing to protect me from the elements because I didn't have my um, winter jacket just died. So this is synthetic and it is thermalite or I think it's called. I think it's thermalite. Ther thinsulate. Thinsulate. And... You know, when you go into a thrift store, if you know your brands and if you know the materials, you can pick out better quality things. Like there were items in there that looked fancier that were not as well made. And so this one, it fit perfectly. It had a really good um, synthetic insulation that is well known and has good back record. And it's from LLB, which is a good brand. So I picked it up. This is my mid layer jacket. Um, I picked this up new on Aria's website. It is an Arcteryx jacket and it has been through a lot. I got this last year when I was living in the tiny house in the woods and this, these two together keep me really warm and surprisingly, I didn't think they would go together. I thought they'd clash, but surprisingly, they're almost an exact match. They look really good together. So that is my outer layer. If it's raining, I do have a rain jacket that I picked up at a thrift store. Um, I went in specifically looking for a rain jacket. Didn't see what I needed, but I needed something. And so I asked the lady at the checkout. I was like, do you have any rain jackets in the back that just aren't stocked yet? And she went in the back and found this for me. And it fits pretty good. 
and it doesn't doesn't pack up really well but that's okay I got it for like three dollars and if I find one that's better then I will just donate this and buy the new one and that's typically how I turn over my clothes if I if I get something at a thrift store for a purpose and then I see something at a different thrift store that serves the, that serves the same purpose but is better quality fits me better I like it better I will go ahead and pick that up and then donate the previous item so it's like an upgrade so let's do underwear because I don't have very many. Um, I have one bra. I had two and I got rid of one at the bus depot because it's a pretty bulky bra and eventually I'm just going to go to a wool bra because they pack down better. Uh, but I only need one. I have three pairs of underwear. They are wool um, from Icebreaker. And I like these because I hand wash them in the morning. By afternoon, they're dry. They're very tiny. They fold up nicely. And because they dry so fast, I don't need very many. And they just feel better because they breathe. They breathe really well. They breathe much better than cotton. And I will never wear cotton underwear ever again. So I have three pairs of those. I have two icebreaker tank tops. I use these as undershirts, especially in winter. It gives me a little bit of extra warmth and it also keeps my clothes cleaner. So if I wear an undershirt, I don't have to do laundry as often and this dries faster than the rest of my clothes do. So I wear an underwear, undershirt. So next, let me show you the pair of pants I have that I bought new. These are a different pair of pants from Cool. If you remember a long time ago, I did a review on cool pants. It's not on the website anymore because I got rid of all the reviews for the most part. These fit well. They're stretchy. I use these as work pants and to ride the bicycle. Um, so in the afternoon when we have, when we do outdoor work, I put on these and a junky long sleeve shirt that I have. And this is my work outfit so that I'm not ruining the clothes that I use in the Zendo or the clothes that I wear to look nice. So those are my work pants. Hiking pants, bicycle pants, I use them for everything. I know everyone that rides bicycles is like, you should have like, you know, the tight shorts. A, I don't want them. They're even, they have even more synthetic materials than those do. And contrary to a lot of people, I really am trying to avoid synthetics as much as possible because all that stuff is ending up in the oceans. So that is cotton with a little bit of synthetic dealable the stretchy bicycle pants are like almost all synthetic um i wouldn't mind getting a wool pair but i don't really need them i don't ride fast anyway so oh what's the point oh i found my hat my other hat <laughs> see there's my other hat so i have two hats <laughs> let, me just, let me just organize this somewhat everybody else does these videos it makes it look so easy it's such a pain in the butt so now for shirts I have three long sleeve shirts. I have the shirt I'm currently wearing. I got it at a thrift store. It is 100% linen. I like linen because it holds up really well over time. It dries quickly and it washes well. So it hand washes well, but it also machine washes well. And one of the things I look at when I'm buying a new shirt in addition to the brand is I turn them wrong side out and I look at the inside and see how it's made. And I'm looking for, if it has serge seams, I want to see a lot of seam allowance. I want to see that they left extra uh, material because that's a sign of higher quality. I prefer not to see serge seams. I prefer to see sewn seams and then maybe like some sort of finished edge on the seams. That's what I look for. Um, so I have this linen long sleeve shirt that I'm currently wearing. I have this shirt. This is from Athletica. It is cotton. I don't normally buy cotton, but it fit perfectly and it works really well underneath the dresses that I have. And I'll show you that in a minute because I do have some dresses, but I don't always wear them as dresses. Sometimes I wear them as a tunic. And when I'm in the temple, I put on a long sleeve shirt underneath the dress and then my linen pants and then I'm fully covered. So I do like the shirt a lot and it's really thin. Um, like I said, I normally don't get cotton because it doesn't dry fast and it tends to, um, it just doesn't wick well. You know, if you're hiking in cotton, you can die of hypothermia. But this is really, really thin cotton, like what you would find in, in like, uh, the tropics. And so I felt like this would be a good shirt. And that is one long sleeve shirt. This is my work shirt. Again, got this at a thrift store. Got all this at a thrift store. 
and this is just a simple work shirt it's comfy it has long sleeves it's mostly gray and that's what I wear when I'm going to get messy whether it's fixing a bike fixing a car or sweeping outside so I've done the shirts long sleeve shirts I have one short sleeve shirt this is a linen shirt and if you look on the inside look at the seams I'm not sure if you can see this there's a regular seam and then there's a surged edge the surged edge is not serving as the seam and that's a sign of quality up here at the yoke I wanted to see a well sewn yoke with a hidden seam and the brand is a good brand 100% linen even though it's made in China it's high quality so this is my long sleeve shirt again at a thrift store one of the things I do when I go into thrift stores is um, I will go to like the shirt aisle. like if I'm looking for a shirt or I'm looking for pants like when I was looking for um, the pants I'm currently wearing which are linen pants that fit me really nicely and it's what I wear in the Zendo. Um, I will go to the aisle where the pants are and I will walk very slowly fanning my hand across the clothes looking for natural fibers. I can normally see linen from like a mile away. Every once in a while I'll get surprised by some rayon but normally I can spot linen and that's usually what I prefer. I prefer linen. Um, it's just a hardier material and so I will scan looking for the linen when I find something that looks linen, then I'll look at the tag. If it's 100% linen, I'll check the size. If it's my size, then I'll look at the seams. And then last, I'll look at the style. And then I'll try it on and see if it fits. So there's that. I have a pair of overalls that are shorts. I probably <laughs> won't be wearing these at the, um, at the Zendo, but they're really comfy. And they are 55% linen, 45% cotton. I really like them. I thought they were so cute. I just couldn't leave them at the thrift store. I just couldn't. They fit perfectly and they just were made for me. So these are my one pair of shorts. And I'm sure once I get um, down south, I'll use them a lot. But I have one pair of shorts. Obviously, I can't wear them at the Zindo because my legs are all out. That's just not polite. Um, I have three dresses. So this is a linen dress. And it's white. Um, I I normally don't like white clothes <laughs> because I get them messed up. I don't mind the shirt because a lot of times it's going to be covered by like the top of like a dress or something. But what I have found is that I have an easier time keeping linen white than cotton white. I, the stains come out of linen better for me. And so I, I just fell in love with it and I know that I can keep it clean. So that's what I got. I have this gray and white striped dress. This is cotton, as you can tell by how horrifically wrinkled it is. Um, linen, when it wrinkles, it looks good. Cotton, when it wrinkles, it just looks wrinkled. But I got this in Woodstock and I love it. And here is my other pair of socks. These are waterproof socks. And that's it, except for one other dress. This is my last dress. This one is linen. It needs washed right now, so just pardon all the wrinkles. I had it thrown in my wash bag. Um, it's a Tommy Bahamas dress, which is a good brand. It's 100% linen, and it fits me perfectly, and it has pockets. All of my dresses have pockets, mind you. Um, that is a requirement nowadays. Uh, being in and out of the Zendos, I need pockets because I have to carry handkerchiefs with me because I have allergies, and I'm always sneezing. So, yeah. So, this is all my clothes. I literally have three pairs of underwear, one bra, two pairs of socks, three dresses, Three long sleeve shirts, one short sleeve shirt, two pairs of pants, and two jackets, and a vest. That's it. That is my entire wardrobe. And I'm really happy with this wardrobe. It function, it gives me everything I need. Everything layers for the most part. Um, it's a lot more color than I had before. Before, all my clothes were blue and gray. But this is what was at their stores. And everything kind of goes together. So I can just layer it however I want or however I need to get um, different climates. If I were to stay in this area, come winter or spring, I would just pick up long underwear. And I would wear the exact same clothes, but I would just throw on wool leggings and a wool um, base layer shirt underneath everything. And I would be fine for the winter. The only thing I'm really missing is a good puffy jacket. And I'm just waiting until I see the right one in the thrift store. And it's on my list. And I've got a few months. And eventually one's going to show up. And if it doesn't, I will pick up another Arcteryx Adam jacket. Because... It worked really well and I liked it. And even though it's synthetic, it doesn't need washed often. So it's not going to put as much micro um, microplastic in the ocean. 
since it's not getting washed as often since it's an outer layer. So uh, that is everything I have. Hope this video was helpful. Probably not, but I figured I'd give it a try.